everyone it's Lou Collins and welcome to another Friday five minute makes now we're going to make a super quick card that is suitable for lots of different occasions with some rainbow colors so it's nice and cheerful so the first thing you're going to need is a card base of pretty much any shape any shape or size you can do this with you're also going to need a panel of cardstock the same color you can go with different colors but once you see the design you can decide on that but it needs to be the same size as your card base so just the cardstock there then you need another panel of cardstock i use white stamping card or a smooth card for this something i can ink blend onto and you want to have a nice long thin piece because you also want to use a die that's quite long and thin so i've gone with the mariposa die set here there's only about 20 of these left in stock now so if you like the look of that one uh take a look i'll link it down below but it is getting short in supply but i like this because it's got the line of uh, butterflies you can do a line of leaves you could do this with individual dies as well if you want to like I say once you see the design you'll understand more about what you could do this could even be done with alphabet dies too so think about that while I'm working on it so a piece of cardstock that's going to fit that die on then I've got an embossing folder that will fit your card base or most of your card base in it and I've got because I'm using rainbow colors I've got a black sentiment uh, that's just going to contrast nicely against the white and the pop of rainbow colors okay so let's get started and we're going to begin first of all with our panel of cardstock that is the same size as your card base and I'm going to just cut into this so I'm going to have my rainbow butterflies coming across kind of across the edge there you can do it right down the bottom if you wish at an angle you could do it at the, from top to bottom it's entirely up to you I'm kind of going to do diagonal like so just want to make sure that that's going to fit on my die cutting plate in case I need to bring out uh, a bigger plate so I'll need to angle that accordingly I think just a little bit more upright is going to be okay just like so should be fine okay so I'm going to tape this down a couple of bits of low tack tape there just to hold that still and I'm going to cut through this now I'm not looking for the detail of this I only need the outline cutting so we're just shaping the edge of this panel at this moment there so that's what you're looking for that's going to sit on your card base just like so this bottom piece and all the detail in there we can just discard all of this now unless of course you want to do a two for one and make yourself another card with the bottom piece too now before I cut my butterflies from this panel of cardstock I want to do my ink blending it's much easier to do this now than later so just popping a blending mat down I'm going to go with these lovely rainbow colors and because I know already that my die pretty much fits on the entire panel I'm going to just go ahead and ink the entire panel If you're not sure about colour blending, maybe you don't have uh, blendable inks, for example, you could do watercolour spritzes or you can simply do some coloured cardstock here. Now I've got my colours blended, I'm going to lay my die on top, use a little bit of tape to hold everything still and cut out the entire shape. Now this time we do want the, the detail to cut, so we want to ensure we get a really good cut through there. Again, if you like to make quick cards, don't forget to save things like your negative because this could look really fun with maybe just some black butterflies cut out and popped inside the coloured background. So definitely keep your waist. The next stage is to just add a little bit of difference between your top panel and your bottom panel, uh, either side of your butterfly. So I'm going to use an embossing folder for this, one that's got a nice deep design on it. So now to put the card together, I'm going to use some big foam pads for most of the design. You can use foam tape, but I would suggest raising up this area of the panel. So that's the top panel that I've just embossed. And for the smaller areas, I'm just going to snip into my foam and cut some pieces that will fit nicely there. So I'm going to adhere this onto my card, just ensuring that that is the correct orientation. So the fold is at the top. So we can see we've got the texture there, very slight colour variation between the cardstock and the card base. But I think that's all fine once I place this back in here. So then my rainbow butterflies can sit back in that section there, which is going to look really pretty. You can see we've got the overlap there. I'm not worried about the overlap at all. 
because I can come in and snip those edges. So just taking my wet glue and I'm going to put this one down flat. Now you could also die cut whichever image you've chosen to use for your edging here or dies you've chosen to use. You could actually um, die cut this from foam as well and then raise this up. Um, but I like to have this down flat so that the panel above is raised up and it kind of gives it a bit more dimension. Be careful not to smudge any of the ink off of your cardstock onto your card base there. Should all be dry by the time you get round to doing this anyway. And then I'm just going to flip my card over and trim off any edges that I need to. Then I'm just going to finish the whole design with a sentiment so I could put this on the top there, down the bottom, right across the middle. I think I'm going to pop this down the bottom because we've got a lot of detail in the top with the embossing. So let's just lift this up. This is from my Sentiments for All Textures, Sentiments for All paper pad. Just cut out the sentiment and raise that up on foam too. So there we go. Then there's a really quick card that has dimension because you've got the raised areas and the embossing in the top. So it gives it a little bit of difference, a little bit of uh, layering and depth. And I really love the colours. Now, like I say, you can do any colours. This could just be solid cardstock if you prefer. But there's another quick card for you that you can do pretty much with any die that's uh, a good enough length to go across your card. Or alternatively, just use separate letters or words. Just make sure you tape them together so that, or put them on a magnetic sheet so that when you cut out your panel, you're doing this in exactly the right place. So thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Please do subscribe to my channel. That would help me out a lot. And I'd love it if you could go and have a look at the playlist for the five minute makes because we've got some other videos there for quick cards too. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you again very soon.